All right, how everybody doing? It's Mike Sykes, Millionaire Maker. Hang with me, I'll make you a millionaire. So this is day 187 of my 365 day YouTube content creation challenge, where I challenge myself for the next 365 days to bring valuable and useful content that I can post on my YouTube channel to try and help bring the benefit and the knowledge that I've gained over the last few years as an entrepreneur to somebody out there that might be looking um, for a way to fix their credit or looking for some advice in situations. Um, a lot of times I just come on here sometimes now <coughs> just to talk. Okay, like I said, I'm at a day, um, day 187, so that means for 187 days I've been making YouTube videos that I can post, that I've been posting to my YouTube channel. Okay, and lately as things go on, I know I started off with one format, but like um, I don't have 187 different topics that I can bring you value on and I can't keep telling you uh, for 187 days um, what lesser data furnishers that you need to put a freeze on before you start trying to fix your credit. You know, a lot of times I just report on what's going on with my day with some of the things that I'm going through. Also, I let you know how my stock is doing and things like that. Like as far as I'm um, I have invested in crypto, okay, um, damn, I didn't even do that one, did I? Okay, my investment in crypto is around, like, I invested, like, 347. Right now, crypto seems to be taking a beating. It's up and down, up and down, like, the first, it was 432, second was 446, the six, it was 480. Today is 4463. Okay, that's up in the crypto market as far as my the picks that I have. Okay, I have Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin, Allegon, Compound, Marker, Dai, Stellar, Lunas, Civic. I don't know what ANKR, CeeLo, Agraph, and New Cipher. Those are the um, crypto coins that I have. Okay. Now, when you get over to the stocks, all right, it was something totally different. Now, over here, I have like, uh, what we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen different stocks and Dogecoin. <laughs> okay. And off of those 18 different stocks and Dogecoin, I have managed to invest $876.63. And that has managed to turn into, over the last six months, $1,145 to, as of today, which was down from $1,188 yesterday, which was down from $1,000. $221 last week. Okay. Now, I've been sitting up here watching. I've been, I bought um, a stock called Clean. Okay. If I come up here and I go to uh, Robin Hood and I kind of like look at Clean to see what it is, to tell you what it is. All right, um, clean energy fuel, okay, uh, clean energy fuel core engages in the provision of natural gas as an alternative fuel for vehicle fleets in the United States and Canada, Canada. It also builds and operates compressed natural gas, CNG and liquefied natural gas, LNG, vehicle fueling stations. Manufacture CNG and LNG equipment and technologies and deliver more CNG and LNG vehicle fuel. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have a dividend yield, but I don't know. Somebody mentioned it and I start buying it. Now, right now I am at uh, hold on. I think I got like 11 shares. 
All right, 11 shares of this. Yeah, I got 11 shares of this. My average price that I pay per share is, where is it at? Uh, do I see it? Uh, average price that I pay per share, go back to portfolio. It's not showing me what I'm looking for. I'm thinking I might have to go over to there. But I got 11 shares, and I think the market share, I paid like $11 and something a share. But right now, it's selling at $8.91 a share. Okay. Uh, I'm really, I don't know why, but maybe because it's only $8.91 a share, I really keep feeling this feeling to buy more shares. Buy more shares. Like I was thinking about getting like three more shares of that. Okay, why well, it's doubt. Because like they say, it's called buying the dip. And when prices go down, okay, it's like buying stock on sale. So actually what I'm hoping for, I'm not hoping, what I'm hoping for is that eventually this stock will take off. Okay? Like AMC, I only managed to buy six shares, and I think I was buying them at uh, I think I was buying them at six dollars a share. Okay, I think I got them at like six dollars a share, and I had six shares, and all of a sudden they took off. Okay, they took off. And they were selling for like almost 50, 60, hold on, last year. June the 2nd, they were selling at $62 a share. Okay. And like I say, I bought in at $6 a share. Okay. I bought in at, like I say, $6 a share. Okay, and all of a sudden they shoot up to sixty something dollars. All right, but then it lately it dropped back down to uh, July the second. It was at fifty one, and I think yeah after that it went down. Okay, to where now it's at forty four. Okay, but even at forty four, I can't fuck with no more shares because that just drops. That just kills any money that I made off of it. All right to be buying, trying to buy any right now. And so when I'm looking at other things that I want to buy, you know, uh, GE was up. I'm, I, I was really I thinking, but I needed to catch it when it was down, though. Going, went down because, like, it opened up. It's 12.96. It's up 46.46% today. You know, okay. Uh, and I got... Like I say, a couple of shares of this. <sighs> I want to wait and let it drop some. Then I'm going to come back in and buy it. Because the stocks that I want to buy, you know, like I say, that one there is a good one. I want to increase my shares on there. I need to be looking to round these up. Okay. I got a share of IDV. It's um, EFT. Okay, I was looking in the airlines, <clears throat> and the cheapest one is American Airlines at $20 a share. All right, they got a dividend of 0.63. So, <clears throat> I was looking into that. Okay, now one of the other things that I want to mention for this video. Oh, man, I forgot, and I'm already not 10 minutes in. But if you're watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. If you could, all right, hit the um, subscribe button and possibly share this video with at least five people, okay? I've told you what the stock says. I'm going to go ahead and end this video because it's already 1240, and I do need to get up in the morning because <clears throat> I did tell y'all last night that I did. I was able to list the Malibu on Toro. Okay, I list the Malibu on Toro, and hey, 
I'm sorry. It got booked for a whole week already. Okay, pickup time is tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Uh, check in time, check out time is tomorrow at 10. Check in time is a week from there, a week from tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Okay. Hey. Uh, let me go back. Let me go back and look. I think I got a hunt. I think for that. Yeah, hold on. Uh, for that, trips booked. Learn right, more. Insurance calculator. Our tour trip. Our right, trip. Um, let me see. Where is it? Vehicle protection plan. Uh, I'm trying to see. Somewhere on here, it told, broke down. Uh, car details. Get directions. View detail receipt. Here it go. Oh yeah, I'm making hundred for the week. So I get $193 for the week. Okay. And it's broke down like this here. She gets 1,400 miles. Trip price is $325 is what she paid for the week. Seven days at $46 a day. Plus seven day discount is $48.75. Okay. Trip total, $276.25. Minus the Toro fee of $82.87, I earn $193.83 just for sitting here and letting somebody use my car. All right. If I if that was two weeks, that's the car payment right there. But um, the trip starts and ends on the 15th. So, if nothing else, whenever I get paid from that, I can honestly, seriously use that money legally towards the payment of the Malibu. But hey, that would be that one week that it's running out, it's paid for. But that is the objective. Now, I'm looking into, as we speak, uh, other ways that I can get other cars to put on this Toro platform. Because I do have... Um, I do have that car sitting outside, and it's, like I said, it's been on the other platform for a while now, and it's still not getting rented, but hey, this one here, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for continuous, constant rentals. Uh, I didn't get to it today. I need to be looking back at that guy, because I haven't even went to um, Pushman Mitch's site. They put me up on um, a play. They got a Bank of America play. What I was gonna talk about in this video, is um, the one thing that I want to stress is credit. Is getting your credit in position. If it's not in position, getting it in position. Okay. If it's in position, you good. Try and keep it there. Don't try to keep it there. Keep it there. But if it's not in position, do what you can to get it in position. All right. Because credit is key and credit is very important. Like they say, um, you can't get into real estate without cash or credit. Okay, that is an avenue, but the thing is, there are other avenues, okay, that credit opens up to you, all right? This play, what, um, this Bank of America play, it was a beautiful play. Thing about it is, your credit has to be up to par, okay? People, they keep checking my... Experian report and finding things that I'm not seeing so I don't know who and how I'm going to get that fixed but I know that that is um, a priority now I do know that I have to get my utilization down I'm looking into that all right um, a couple of cards I've got coming down Okay, I might be able to get one or two more down this month. Okay, try and get two at zero balances, which will help me out some. And once I get them at a zero balance, I can start utilizing them and try and um, move some money around to keep them at zero balances. Okay, uh, bring another one maybe to 33%. Okay, for this month. All right, but what I wanted to say was, like I said, Credit is very important, okay? The Bank of America is giving away money for people with their credit, all right, in position, 
all you need to do is start a business and apply for um, auto loan in your business name. And if your credit is in position, you're good to go. All right, I don't know nobody with their credit in position and anybody that I would know that with their credit in position, they either don't want to do nothing with it or then they can, they can get the knowledge and do it themselves and don't need me and won't, don't even want to try and utilize me because they are to cut me out and do it themselves. Okay, but that's all right. I'll just keep going and keep learning and doing these things like like this here. Okay, Mitch made a um, video today. I caught him on the live and like he said, okay, he might not be able to make them three pointers like that all the time. You know, but hey, what he does is he finds a layup, whoosh, he take it to the basket, do that layup, two points, okay? Free throw, two points, whoo, two points, whoo, two points, okay? Eventually, those two points will keep going, will keep adding up. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to find my layup, I'm trying to find my layup, two points, okay? Two points, okay? Now what he says is like he said, eventually those two points will add up. And when they do add up and start to show, okay, people will take notice. And when they take notice, like he said, hey, they like, hey, damn, that boy Mitch just came up overnight. But like he said, hey, he's been doing this for six years, okay? Two points. Two points. Okay, I missed that one. That's all right. Yeah, I missed that one. That's all right. Two points. Two points. That's all you got to do. Find your groove. Get in it. Two points. Take them two points. Okay? That's what I did with the little um, car out there. The money that it generated so far, I was I will utilize it to better enhance and enrich things and make, hey, put my put the Malibu in position to put it out there, okay? Like I can say, 100, $193 will hit my account, okay? So with that being said, I'm 17 minutes in, I meet my 10 minutes. I appreciate you people being here with me. I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed so I can not get up in the morning and go take care of what I gotta take care of. Like I said, my name is Michael Sykes. I'm the Millionaire Maker. If you hang with me, I'll make you a millionaire. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.